Do you want to become a SOC analyst and are curious if working in a SOC environment is fun or not? The short answer is, that depends. Let's talk about it. I'll start off with telling you what exactly is a SOC and what to expect. A SOC stands for Security Operations Center that is a centralized unit within an organization where it is staffed with analysts called SOC analysts who monitor, detect, and respond to threats. What makes up a SOC are the people, process, and technology. Without this, a SOC simply cannot function properly. These SOCs are usually enclosed in a dedicated office or building where access is heavily restricted. There are two types of SOCs, one managed and another in-house. And by working within a SOC environment, you could expect using the latest technology, learn about threats, and network with like-minded individuals. Now, the key word here is could. The experience is heavily dependent on the organization itself and what kind of SOC you are working in. I've personally had the opportunity to work for both, and I'll break it down starting with in-house. With an in-house SOC, you are likely going to be working for a large organization since they are able to afford an in-house SOC because that can be extremely expensive. They are likely heavily invested in security, which means that you get to play with the latest technology. And for me, learning the latest tech while being paid is a fun experience. SOC processes are likely more defined and people are given proper training. However, there is a downside to an in-house SOC. And that is, you are only limited to what the organization sees. And depending on how protected the organization is, there may not be much happening, which can be extremely boring for some, especially for me, and makes it less fun. Now we'll move on to the managed SOC. With a managed SOC, it is similar to an in-house SOC, but instead of managing the security for one organization, you're managing for multiple which will allow you to work with a diverse range of tools, from old legacy tools to the latest tech. And again, having the opportunity of learning these tools while being paid is a fun time. In a managed SOC, you will get to see a lot of different threats because you are no longer managing just one organization. The more you manage, the more events you see. The more events you see, the more alerts you get, which might lead to a true positive. But on the flip side, the more alerts you get, the higher chance of what is called alert fatigue. This is where you're dealing with the same alert over and over and over again, causing you to put in less effort every time, which eventually providing zero effort. Don't get me wrong, alert fatigue can also happen in an in-house SOC, but it is more prevalent in a managed SOC environment due to the large amount of events and high turnover. Yes, high turnover. Let's talk about the downsides of a managed SOC. Unfortunately, many managed SOCs have poor processes and people. Processes that are rarely updated and people are not trained, which will lead to a big domino effect down the road. You're restricted to what data sources the client had decided to ingest, meaning there will be some blind spots and you can't really do much about it. Now, a managed SOC is a high pressure environment that can cause people to make a lot of mistakes especially if the processes are not in place, which can lead to high turnover and burnout can occur faster due to the constant battle of alert fatigue, making it not so fun. But as sadistic as this sounds, I actually <laughs> found working in a managed SOC more fun compared to an in-house SOC. And here's why. With managing multiple clients, you get to play with a variety of tools, which will level you up so much quicker than someone who has experience with only using Microsoft Sentinel, for example. Because of the multiple clients, you get to experience more threats and there is a less chance of a dull moment, but you will have a higher chance of alert fatigue compared to an in-house SOC, who only handles threats for one organization. The last is networking and team building. Yes, in a managed SOC, people are super focused on hitting SLAs, service level agreements. But at the end of the shift, there is this feeling of camaraderie where we can complain how bad these processes are to each other, but more importantly, celebrate the wins and try to make the sock better. If I were to compare the two socks on a back of a napkin, it would be this. 
An in-house SOC is more defined, but you're limited to what your organization sees. Whereas a managed SOC is extremely hectic, but you get to see a lot of different things. So is working in a SOC environment fun? The short answer, it depends on how you define fun. All in all, I find working in some place that is extremely hectic fun compared to a slow and steady organization, but that is just me. Let me know which one you prefer in the comment section down below. That is it for the video and I hope you found that informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.